Hey guys, it's Veronica. I am here at school all alone because it is summer vacation for most people. But for foreign teachers, we have to teach summer camp for at least two weeks, some people three weeks. So I'm here, um, my class for the day already finished, so I am just hanging out in the office until 4.30 when I when I get off of work. This video is my desk tour, so if you are one of those people that likes looking at organization and stuff like that, or if you're curious about what kind of stuff uh, an English teacher in Korea might need on her desk, keep watching. Hey guys, so let me just give you a quick overview of my desk. You can see what's going on here. Um, this desk is a new to me hand-me-down desk. So it's bigger than the desk that I used to have so I'm pretty happy about that. And just to quickly kind of give you the overview tour, here's where I keep my books and lesson plans and other little like um, prizes and things and games. I've got just some cute things that make me happy. This is my basket that I use to bring with me to class every day since I teach in three different classrooms. I've got this little bookshelf that keeps my supplies. It's a little empty now and on top I've got some toys for games and on my wall I've got some letters from my students. I've also got these drawers down here which are full of stuff. Alright, so let's start over on this side. A little timetable here which I don't refer to very often since I have another one taped on my monitor. And here I've got this cute K-pop fan. It's B184 and one of my students gave that to me actually. And I've got my phone charging here. I have to keep my wire like this because it's kind of busted and if it's not in this like position it doesn't properly charge. I've got my weekly scheduler and this is actually what I use to lesson plan. It's not very professional looking but it works the best for me since my schedule is like very flexible so I've got to have the freedom to like rewrite and redraw my schedule. I've got the textbooks here for third through sixth grade and this is the same book as what my students use in class so I bring these copies with me to class when I'm teaching so that I can like show the proper page. I've also got this set of four phonics books which I purchased from either Kyobo Bookstore or Yongpum, I can't remember. And I've also got this one about sight words. And I use these books for my after school classes and we usually focus on phonics since they're usually lower level students that attend those classes. I've got a couple notebooks just for writing stuff down and these two files here have just important documents about my job and my contract as a foreign teacher. This little file folder is for my after school classes. It is the attendance sheet and this um, accordion folder which I bought at eMart keeps all of my handouts for my regular third through sixth classes and it doesn't seem very organized but it's really easy for me to find everything in there so it's not a big problem. Next I've got these two little boxes from Daiso. Um, they're a little bit like unstable. I think I should probably stick them or tape them together or something because they fall over a lot. But up here I've got empty um, paper CD sleeves and in the first few there are some movies and some CD-ROMs and down here in this box if I can open it ee! oh it's stubborn I have these bouncy eyeballs which I bought from Flying Tiger and I'm giving them as prizes in my summer camp which ends tomorrow and I've got some stickers and ooh, what's down here? Alphabet cards, just you know, willy nilly. On the side here, I've got some games and some cards. So I've got Alphabet Bingo, 
three letter words and I've got another set back there of just like phonics cards. This uh, clipboard that I never use. And one, two, three, four teacher's manuals. This one has my lesson plan for my open class, which is a really big, oh, my finger, excuse me, which is a big deal for um, not just foreign teachers, but all teachers. We have to do a class and present it in front of the principal and other teachers and sometimes parents. So it's, that's why it's got its own file. And then these four files have, ah, have my lessons for all of my other classes. Okay, let's move on to down here. I've got two little Minions toys, which I got in my Happy Meal at McDonald's. And I wanted to get two different toys, but for some reason they goofed and they, they gave me the same toy. So I'm a little bummed. I wanted to have two different Minions, but they're still cute and they kind of, they're supposed to, they're supposed to spin, but I don't know. They don't spin. This is a little booklet, like a, like a origami or a, I don't know, accordion book that my students made with notes for me for Teacher's Day. This star a student made and this is my name tag. It's actually supposed to go over the door, but I'm too short. So it's on my computer. A lip balm, another paper craft from a student, a note from a student, a note from a student, a note from a student, and underneath these notes I have some little um, notepads where I just like write down lists and things that I don't want to forget. Let's see, this uh, mouse pad is from Cacao Friends and it's Ryan and he's very cute. I have this strange hole cut out in my desk and oh this don't look at how dusty my desk is excuse me and underneath there's like the little like keyboard shelf which doesn't actually slide out all the way it's stuck right here and so since it's glass I keep my calendar here so I can just peer down and look at it quickly I also keep uh, a toothbrush and toothpaste set for after lunch time and I've got my old planners here which I used to use for both studying and also uh, my lesson planning but they're a little they were a little cumbersome so now I don't use them anymore but I like to keep the record there um, over here is my bin and this bin I carry with me to every single class so um, since I teach in three different classrooms I kind of need something to keep everything together and I keep this pouch with me at all times. I keep erasers in here. These are all the contents of my pouch. I've got a black pen and a red pen and a pencil. Usually I keep a couple pencils because there's always students that don't have pencils. Drives me crazy. I've got some red and black board markers. I've got a bunch of like cute little stamps for my lower grades because they do some activities in the book like writing activities so I like to stamp them and these batteries are for my timer so I like to time the students when we're doing like speaking activities because if I just let them keep going like we'll use up all the class time like that so I gotta keep an eye on the time I've also got a ruler so I keep everything in this pouch so it's nice and neat and then I have some board markers in like rainbow colors and down here just two little notepads for writing stuff and then I always add my uh, lesson planning weekly scheduler and the textbook for that class so oh, let me show inside the desk first I'll look in these drawers they're a bit messy so sorry this first drawer has like pencils and pens and highlighters, post-its, glue, tape, exacto knives, spoons. This is like a, a paper hole puncher, not hole puncher, stapler, a paper stapler that doesn't actually use staplers, it just like folds the paper. I've got 
com this drawer is like completely random except for these socks which I use in the winter because my feet get cold. And down here, usually I have a big bucket of candy, but I'm using it for summer camp. I also have my witch's hat for Halloween and some Halloween decorations for the classroom. And these little boxes have like stickers and yeah. Oh, and these are my witch fingers, my glow in the dark witch fingers. I like Halloween a lot, if you can't tell. And down here is not that interesting, but I just want to show you my indoor shoes. I'm actually wearing my sneakers now because I had to leave campus to pick up lunch. But these shoes I wear in the summertime or like just in regular like warm weather. And then those ones in the back, um, those are my slippers for cold weather and the winter. Which is why I got those socks in the drawer. And I usually keep some tissues in here too. Up here, this little bookshelf was just sitting in my office and not being used so I decided a couple days ago I'm going to use it because why not. And I've got a bunch of colored paper down here since I, I usually do lots of like paper crafts or like poster activities with my students so I just keep the paper there. And this shelf. Um, it had a bunch of colored pencils and a box with uh, glue sticks and scissors, but we're using all of those things for summer camp right now, so they're in the classroom and not on my desk right now. Um, but I do have a couple markers left over. This is my lens cap for my camera. And I have toilet paper here, which is unusual. My school's under construction and we don't have any um, bathrooms right now they're all being like constructed so the only bathroom left is in the gym and the gym doesn't have toilet paper for some reason so I brought toilet paper with me just in case right here I've got this bag with more alphabet cards which I use these ones specifically for a game with my second graders I have a box of pastels for art some I guess these are stickers and these are my headphones I love these headphones they're the Sony no what am I saying Samsung level on and I usually hang these on my monitor just like in the corner but since it's summer camp and no one's in the office I can play music out of my speakers and next to my speakers, I keep this bin with like toys, kind of. I use these to play games in class. So I've got these like squishy dice or die, whatever you say. And then these squishy balls with like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> plush balls for, <laughs> I'm an adult, I swear, with like funny faces that we use for pass the ball games. And I have these fly swatters, which are actually really good for like speed games. And then, uh, of course, my Halloween pointer stick thing. Up here on the wall, I've just got lots of cards and notes from my students. And I have my class schedule. Since, since I cannot remember it to save my life, I keep it posted here and I refer to it every single day. So yeah, that's it. That's my desk. If you have any questions about anything I showed here, um, just let me know and um, you can leave a comment and I will be sure to reply. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more teachery videos and I'll see you next time. Hope you're having a really good day. Bye!